I originally saw Mick Murr on YouTube when I was looking for um, Road Caesar videos, and he had one. So I subscribed, and I've watched several of his videos in between now and then, uh, made some comments. So Mick, I just want to tell you that the reason I'm making this is because I went to do a text comment, and it wasn't as... Um, it didn't sound as nice as I wanted it to. Um, I think you're a cool guy, uh, but I don't necessarily agree with you. I, and I didn't want to just come off as going, ah, troll, ah, I love Hasbro, oh, Hasbro's awesome, ah. So, <laughs> here I am to um, tell you how I feel in a way that you can see that I am genuine about it, not just being a jerk. Um, I like official product. Um, I don't know if I like unofficial product because I, I, I don't really, you know, I've got a house and a couple of cars and a girlfriend and some cats and, um, spending 50 bucks on one deluxe is kind of hard for me these days. Um, at the same time, um, I'm definitely interested in giving those Insecticons a spin, but here's the thing. At a hundred bucks, at fifty bucks, at a hundred fifty for a set of three, it's real easy to add in those extra details that make people want to buy them for that much. Um, Hasbro knows they can't sell stuff on the shelves for thirty bucks a pop, a deluxe, a fifty, a deluxe. They they know they can't, so they don't. So they don't put in all those extra details. What I'd like to see out of a company like Fan Project, and this kind of sounds like I'm taking the piss, and maybe I am just a little bit, but what I want to see Fan's Project do, I want to see Fan's Project design an original character, I want to see them market that character, and then I want to see them uh, license a comic book for that character, get that, comic char uh, get that character on my TV, and get that character in my Walmart. It costs tons of money to do that. Um, if I walked into Walmart and there was a new transforming robot toy uh, that wasn't a transformer, that had um, the Fans Project quality, because I don't actually know what Fans Project quality is, because I've never actually held one. But if there was a better quality transforming robot in Walmart that had tons of character and looked cool, heck yeah, I'd buy one. Um, so that's... You know, uh, if Fans Project's really so good at it, see what they're good at, what Fans Project's good at in my eyes is making a limited run of something and making it awesome. And making an awesome version of something that we're already primed to buy. <laughs> primed, ah, huh? punny, primed. But no, <laughs> we're already primed to buy this stuff. We're already primed to be on the internet looking for Ultra Magnus and looking for. Uh, these things, and when you cruise through the pages of the front news, and there's this awesome-looking Ultra Magnus, of course you're going to want it. Um, I'm not saying there's anything actually wrong with that. Morally, I don't really care what Fans Project does, but legally, I see the difference. I, I see that if I design a car, and a week later, somebody down the road selling that car after I've just submitted the copyright and they work in the copyright office and they took my copyright information instead of submitting it actually they went and made it themselves yeah I'd probably go find a way to beat their ass is what I'm saying so I don't think that Hasbro's wrong I think that maybe Hasbro shouldn't have waited till like the month before the convention to try to change things uh, that's probably my biggest uh, problem with the whole BotCon scenario is that instead of Eight months ago, they decided last month that they're going to start making all these changes. And the fans are going to riot if you try to do that overnight. Because it's just too much change, too fast. It's something they're not ready for. Uh, as far as AA goes, I hear you guys are getting an original comic now instead of just a recovered IDW comic. Um, anything IDW does, Hasbro has the right to say, oh no, we don't want you to do that. Period. So... When you get mad at IDW for a character change, for an idea, a character that does something that you didn't like, well, it could be Hasbro. 
when you get when you're watching Prime and you're going, oh Prime writers at Prime, why did you reset Orion Pax at the end of the episode? He was so much cooler that way. You know that Hasbro came in and said, okay, now give us Optimus Prime back. So that's just the way things are. Um, you can either find a, you know, in my opinion, that's how things are. Uh, but as as far as the auto assembly thing goes, you know, it, it sucks for the people that put on auto assembly because now they have to come up with something to put in your gift bags. And, um, but for you guys, it sounds like they're turning you a good one and getting you a complete custom comic that is going to be way more epic or way more awesome than a reskinned IDW. It's just my opinion on the thing. Um, I wish I was going to a convention this year. I may still, I may still decide to go to Savcon. Uh, maybe because it's kind of close, but um, you know, I, it's to be fair. I don't know that much about what goes on inside the conventions because I've never made it to one yet. Um, I've been back serious about robot toys for just a couple of years, a couple of three. And um, the first year I was back looking at toys and stuff seriously, BotCon was in Florida and I didn't have the money to go. So it's one of those things it's hard to decide where I stand on it because I don't know all the information. But from where I'm sitting, it looks like Hasbro's okay. With I mean, I, I, it looks like I agree, I have to back Hasbro on some of their decisions. Not saying I backed them on pulling the cover. Uh, I don't know why they didn't give a good reason. But as far as not having third-party toys at their own convention, I totally see why. Remember, BotCon is Hasbro's own Transformers convention. Like, they licensed FunPub to put it on. It's kind of one of those things that you kind of have to do what Hasbro says to have BotCon. And that's kind of where, you know, whether what, what, no matter what we feel about it, that's where the line's drawn is that an official Transformers convention, which means Hasbro has uh, the end word, the last word. It's theirs. Uh, thanks, Mick. That was fun. Um, I hope I, we get to talk about stuff again soon. Later.